In usual times, airlines fly a small slice of overall groceries moving through global supply chains. One way of measuring it is to use food miles. A food mile is a metric that calculates the distance each transport method covers multiplied by the quantity of food transported. Groceries are a big user of global supply chains and now more than ever airlines are a part of this chain. According to an article published last year, air travel contributed just to 0.16% of global food miles that year. In contrast, sea shipping generated 58.97% of global food miles, road generated about 30% and rail about 10%. With airlines making such a small contribution to the movement of groceries around the world, you might ask, why I speak about it? Two reasons. Firstly, 2020 has seen global supply chains disrupted. Secondly, airlines specialize in transporting a particular type of grocery. We all know what's happened this year. Flights got cancelled, airlines got grounded. Given that scheduled passenger flights also carry freight, that in itself has disrupted supply chains. But getting less attention is the disruption to global sea shipping. Sea shipping has suffered almost as much as airlines. However, people still must eat. Airlines were quick to pounce on one of the few revenue generating sectors open to them that were freight only flights. Airlines have thus played a more significant role than usual in transporting groceries around the world. In the United States, the FAA recently gave airlines permission to remove seats from their planes to operate freight only flights. At the height of the travel downturn, with so many aircraft grounded, shippers were reportedly paying up to $1.5 million to lease aircraft for freight only flights. On the other side of the world, Oman Air has recently carried over 250,000 kilograms of groceries. One Oman Air Airbus A330 flight alone flew about 50,000 kilograms of fruit, vegetables and other perishable groceries to Oman. When it comes to groceries, air freight shines with time-sensitive and perishable items. One of the unforeseen consequences of so many people stuck at home is a renewed interest in cooking and food that helps driving demand for unseasonal groceries of specific origins from specific countries. Such a demand is fulfilled through air shipping of perishable groceries. The disruption of traditional global supply chains is putting a renewed focus on the role airlines play in it. It is also offering airlines new opportunities. The question is, as things slowly start to turn to normal, can the airlines maintain the momentum they've recently built frightening groceries around the world? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, check out the other videos on the channel.